Hello everyone, it's Steve with Aptera Owners Club. A few days ago, Jason Hill put out this uh, picture on his LinkedIn page. It's a shot of Delta with the rear hatch opened. And then you can clearly see this uh, area and it looks like it's definitely a storage area. So it's a secondary storage that's under floor storage. Um, doesn't look like if you zoom in closely. So from far away, it looks like there's like a pipe or something going in here. But if you look, if you zoom in, I think it's just the reflection of the light in the render. And uh, you can't really tell for sure, but it doesn't look like there's any um, wires or any connection into this area. So I think it's just a storage area. And it's surprisingly wide, actually, and pretty big. So I think there's a significant amount of storage in here, uh, which is which is going to be really nice. You can put maybe like your uh, like a trickle charging cable in here, maybe the fix a flat and that kind of stuff, or tools, or uh, maybe the tent for the uh, for the camping option. Anyway, lots of things you could put in there. You could put whatever you wanted in there. It would fit quite a bit. It's definitely not like big enough for a roller bag or anything like that, but you could definitely put a backpack or something in there. The other thing that I was thinking about while looking at this picture is the rear hatch, we know that there's a carbon fiber smaller hatch in here that uh, was teased before this thing. Um, and again, look at the uh, the forged carbon fiber. It, it just it looks pretty. Um, if um, if you didn't need to protect it from the UV, I think just having it not wrapped and having just the naked carbon fiber SMC visible and the uh, carbon the uh, regular SMC visible wouldn't look too bad. Okay, so there's a smaller hatch in here that's uh, a lot smaller than uh, the full hatch, and you can see it kind of better in um, let's see in the Delta reveal video. You see here's the smaller hatch and then the the actual exterior hatch extends probably a, almost another foot behind behind beyond it. Um, so I was thinking what they were doing is just getting the solar panel and affixing it on there. Now I'm not so sure because looking at this, it looks a little thicker at the end here. Like there's an actual another structure. So I think maybe this part is the solar panel and there's another carbon fiber structure um, underneath it. And that makes sense because when you lift this hatch or close this hatch, you're going to put a lot of pressure right here at this lip. And I don't think the solar panel itself is structurally strong enough to withstand that kind of pressure. Um, which makes me wonder why they did it in two parts. Why is there this part and this part? Why didn't they just make one big part uh, instead of making these two parts? It's an, um, I, I have no idea why they did it that way. It seems maybe unnecessarily complicated. And then I don't know um, how they're going to do it if you don't get the solar panel. Are they going to cut out the middle of this inner part and then attach a piece of tempered glass that's that big? That would be a really large piece of tempered glass, actually, to put uh, in here. And it would have a fairly significant bend here. I guess that would help with the rigidity of the glass. Um, but I think uh, putting a piece of tempered glass this big would be pretty expensive. Um, tempered automotive glass. And I don't know. I don't know why they made it in two pieces like that. Because I think now there, there's going to be another carbon fiber piece or a fiberglass piece that's on top here that has to hold the solar panel. All right, well, tell me what you guys think. Do you think this is just a the just a solar panel directly on the smaller uh, hatch lid or do you think there's a another structural piece of either carbon fiber or some other kind of composite that's underneath it that's bigger and then the the solar panels are affixed to it anyway whatever you guys think i think this view is beautiful looks great and there's definitely a large storage area here which is um, i think everyone's happy about more storage and uh, hopefully we'll find out more uh, in a few days. Thanks for watching. And thanks to all our supporting members. And have a great day, everyone.